these are wood bluets and they're a beautiful mushroom and these being young ones they're very dark on the cap when they become mature they end up like that on the cap in some instances but not all instances you've got a moveness to it yeah and underneath you've got a very mauve gill and stipe that is a true bluet in my estimation you can find many bluets um, wood bluets which are not that typical they don't have the very mauve stipe as well as the very mauve gill as well as the mauve cap now that is a beautiful indistinguishable field bluet now you can see that there's a large difference with the mature coloration to the young coloration and then when we compare this one just a little bit bigger has gone pretty well much paler and we can see that this is still a wood bluet because it's got lilac gills and it's got a little bit of lilac on the stipe now what a gorgeous thing yeah, I don't know this is what really attracts me to this fungi world it's an alien world it's not of this planet many people like Terence McKenna speculated that fungi spores came on a meteorite from another constellation or at least another solar system so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, break these apart so we can see them more closely and when we look under there it's kind of like wow you little alien beauties aren't you just super i'm most certainly gonna be eating these and um so those ones then being the wood bluet again now in comparison i have some field bluets here now the field bluet is not lilac at all on the cap not lilac at all in the gill the only hint of lilac that you're going to find with these field bluets is on the stipe and that's not always the case because this one there's just a very tiny little bit up there and there is no hint but when we look at the cap like that the gill what we do discern is that albeit it isn't as profound as this one being lilac in the color there is a hint of lilac in there and if we had um, a white gilled mushroom then we would see the difference we can see that there's just a hint in there and um, so I have here another one and a very very tiny hint of mauve on that stipe and absolutely nothing on the gill and nothing on the cap so the difference between I mean this field mushroom 
no, sorry, this uh, wood wood bluet. Um, just on its last legs. It was like that when I found it. And I'm like, wow, there's a little precious beauty. So, um, other than that, I have this brown roll rim. And I've made videos about this particular mushroom before, but this one is quite a large, dense and heavy one. And we can see that they are very rust in the gill, they're always rust in the gill, and they're very decurrent in the gill. And um, I, I don't remember cutting one of these down, so I'm going to do that right now and see what we have inside. Now we have a pleasant looking mushroom inside and we can see the gills are very decurrent smoothly creeping down the stipe there and this one here I think this is called an aponate when well, they have a dent in there there's so many of these technical words I can't keep abreast of them and I've never really managed to make a conscious effort to remember because they just sound silly Adnext, adnate in the gill. Adnext or adnate, what does that mean? And, um, what do you smell like? Mildly f fungal. Um, when we break them, they're nice, kind of like a pumpkin flesh. They're not an edible mushroom. Um, so then I have um, a couple of uh, regular edible agarics. Now, don't know specifically what this one is um, without looking in the book just to discern how the uh, skirt is and. Um, you know what the coloration is, but one thing's for sure, it's not a yellow stain, so it's an edible mushroom. And uh, it just smells very mushroomy, you know. And to cut this one open, we'll just get pure white inside. And it's a bit rubbery because it's almost going over. And so we can see the gill here. For any of you guys that are just wanting to learn a little bit about them, these gills turn up and they don't actually touch the stipe. You see? They've got a little bit of a space. And so, unlike this one, which the gills run all the way up the stipe, you see? And so that one is called decurrent, and this one's called adnext, probably. Um, and so when we break it open, nice and white, mushroomy, pleasant. Just like regular supermarket mushrooms. Very dry because it's almost gone over, like I say. Then I have. Um, this hair mushroom and it's very moist on the cap very glossy and moist it's not sticky and the uh, stipe is very squidgy and jelly like and the gill are crowded and very slightly decurrent see the creeping down the stipe a little bit so, um, I don't know, I'd hazard a guess at this one being cortinarius. Um, let's see what happens. Because lots of times when we cut them, we have a certain coloration manifest. And on this one here, you can see that the gills go right to the stipe. And so, 
there's lots of ways that we discern what a mushroom is. You see, those gills don't go right to the stipe. These gills do. They're very crowded together. The same as this one, it's called a crowded gill. Only this one starts off very pink and flesh-like, like they all do, and then gets progressively darker and darker. This one will never go dark in the gill. It's a white gilled mushroom. And uh, so um, I had a few of these and most certainly they are edible but as I say they are dry, very light, balsa wood like even almost snap when you break them apart so um, these gorgeous little bluets when we prepare them for cooking when we take off that bit and then we've just got these bits remaining and we run those under the tap and they become smooth and glossy just to get rid of uh, any impurities same with this one this little baby button thing that one's just gonna be wonderful to eat and the thing is i've made some mushrooms tonight because i'm, I'm eating the remnants of my cheese and potato pie and I had some regular mushrooms in the fridge, so I've already cooked them. Otherwise, I'll be eating these. And um, so again, I mean, don't you just think that it's, it's a beautiful thing? I mean, they inspire me to think along the realms of magical, mystical things. They just, you know, this is why mushrooms are so important in mysticism and you know kids sort of like mystical adventures it's the fungi of the forest all the peculiar alien looking things very bizarre Cut that one off. look in there it's not and when they cook, they cook beautifully and firm and it will be the same. So maybe I'll do um, a video about that. Um, so yeah, I've got um, a few of them. This here. And even just doing that is a pleasure on a decent mushroom because it's crisp and it cuts nice but um, with some mushrooms let's just say like this mushroom you don't get that look it's spongy and it's dry and it's it's not wanting to cut and it's not crisp most unsatisfying you got to catch them young um, this here uh, feel blue this one will be okay but it's dry in, in, in the, the, the um, start and if we cut it down then we can see that it's been eaten by maggots and so it's not ideal for eating this one look how white this one is on the top in comparison to um, even this one you'd probably even think that's a different mushroom and then you can see this one has mauve on the stipe whereas this one doesn't have any mauve on the stipe but they're the same mushroom but with variances you see and so I'm going to cut this one down because I'm not going to be eating this one I prefer them when they are buttons and when we look then, as a comparison, we can see that uh, you've got very similar characteristics, only this one's been eaten by maggots. Uh, 
Ah. Now, I didn't cut this one. Um, but that one, you know, nice and pumpkin-y in the flesh. And it's pretty spongy and dry in there. And it feels nice, a little bit of wet, gets a little bit, you know, slippy. And, um, you know, it's a solid mushroom. So it's going to be pleasurable to cut through the stein, which is solid and hasn't been attacked by mushrooms, uh, by mushrooms, by um, maggots. And when we break this one, it's kind of brittle. Very slightly of mushroom, nothing as much as these. They're really quite pungent in the mushroomy. Um, but to do all these things, it's all part of the experience, and, and I like to experience things in all of their facets by crunching them up. What, what, what happens when, when you, you, you crunch them up? Kind of a bit like soggy and spongy, stuck together. This one. Very dry, nothing much happening with that one. Difficult to compromise that one. Um, this one here, to break it, very brittle. Kind of like sweet and lilac -y odor. And to crush them. A little bit slimy. So, um, having a whole fungi experience here, guys and gals. And so, with this little collection of beautiful buttoned field, uh, sorry, wood blues, wood blues, wood blues, wood blues. Uh, you know, they, they taste. I think maybe these will taste a little bit more lilac-y, which is very pleasant. Um, but I much prefer to eat these just because of how they look. They look so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And they're just firm and solid. They're going in the pot. I'll probably have um, pizza tomorrow, and so I'll, I'll eat these with that. And, um, well, it's time to clean up shop. And um, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>